Hello again everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, as promised, um, Saturday, okay, it's 4.30 in the afternoon, a little bit earlier, but hey ho, um, I'm super stoked here. <laughs> this day I'll be waiting, itching to open this up. So this is a, um, a pedigree puppy, it really is. It's from Sheffield, England. With no further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? Here we go. Hold on. Boom, what we got in here. I think that's just made to be ripped off, <laughs> isn't it? So, hold on. Okay, we've got more, oh, we've got more here, here we go, hold on. Anything else in there? Well packaged, nothing else in there, no. Oh dear, you don't even see that. <laughs> There's a pull, we've got a pull tab as well. Beautiful, okay, well that didn't go very well. Oh, guys, um, okay. I'm like a big kid. It's like Christmas right now. Okay. <laughs> the big reveal. Uh, right, hold on a minute. <clears throat> and that's it, nothing else. Just paper. I'm joking, guys, I'm joking. I've just, I've just got it. You probably saw me got it. Here you go. Here you go. All right, just put this down there, over there. Right, now. Uh, okay, what we got, what we got. So, shall we, does anyone know what that is? Dun, dun, dun. No, uh, maybe you don't, but hey-ho, let's pop this out. Now. <laughs> it's brass, clearly. Okay. So, what we get, we get... Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Here we go, guys. Oh, yes, bring it on. Right then, where do I start? Well, now, we get this as well. Look at this. We get the Joseph Rogers uh, guarantee, of course. Uh, what else is in there? Yeah, there you go. So you wanna, might want to freeze that frame. Absolutely gorgeous. One of the oldest knife manufacturers in Sheffield, hundreds of years old. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? This is beautiful. It, it just is. Yes, it's utilitarian overtones, of course it is, okay? But it's elegant at the same time. Oh, form and function, it's fit for purpose, this puppy. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy, I've been waiting to get one of these. Oh God. These only came out a few, what, two years ago, I think, a year and a half ago. And they keep, you know, getting sold out. But anyway, <laughs> just look at the holder. Let's pop this puppy out quickly. Before we do that, we're gonna quickly go century, slightly off, slightly lean to the left, but it's not touching, so that's the main thing. Right, so, nice positive lock up. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. Look at that fitting beautifully in the hand as they do. It's engineered to do that. Fit for purpose. Welcome, my friends, to the Blakeney by Ashley Watson. <laughs> the brass Blakeney. Just gorgeous, guys. Solid pieces of brass. Just absolutely lovely. Really gorgeous. This, If you want something different and... It, if you like being independent, you want something a bit different, not everyone's got, then this is a knife I'd seriously consider. It's practical, dependable, it's robust, it's solid, I guarantee you. <laughs> you know, oh, it's just lovely. I'm so happy I've got one, really am. So the Blakeney is gonna, obviously, clearly, it's quite a compact and classy carry. It's engineered in solid brass, the best of British brass, it really is. Okay, developed in collaboration with Joseph Rogers and Sons, of course, in Sheffield, one of English finest cutlery companies. Based on that legendary British Army clasp knife, which of course is tough and dep dependable. Um, used all over the world originally. Made in Sheffield, of course, using fine stainless steel and the best of British brass. Okay, to ensure a long life, I'm guessing, yeah? This would make actually for a good family he heirloom, right, okay? Anyway, right, so um, it just comes with brass. You can get them, of course, in stainless steel, complete, you know, with the original British Army eyes, which will let you double the thickness of this um, from memory. Okay, this is half the thickness, which is lovely, lovely size. Anyway, what have we got similar? I need to put this down here. Okay, so, uh, well, now, 
I've got the Heine Haynes sheep's foot. There you go. A nice, quite a nice knife. I've got a few. I do like a sheep's foot, uh, but I haven't got many of them. I need to get some more actually. And of course, we've got another. Um, we've got the concept. The concept. <laughs> Concepts rather, okay, sheep's foot. There you go, in the red, all right? Really good practical EDCs, but what you pay for this, you can get this and vice versa. If I had to choose out of all three, it's this, without a doubt. This is nice, this is also very nice. They're all nice, but if I had to choose one knife, it'll be this one. So you've got tradition and modern in, in a harmony, absolute harmony. Um, the other two knives are nice, okay. I do use, have used them and everything, but this, this, it's not gonna slip in wet conditions because you got, you're locked up in there, okay. It's such a robust blade, just lovely. Absolutely lovely. That gorgeous sheep's foot blade, super practical. So you take this out somewhere, it's not, it's not, if someone's a bit, uh, you know, if it's got a pointed blade, they might get a bit, ooh, you know. Um, if they got a delicate disposition, shall we say, right? But this is sheep's foot, so it's not so um, aggressive maybe looking. You don't want, that's the last thing you want someone to think, but that's, people are people, um, you know, and how their perception, interpretation, we have to be mindful of that, okay? So it's a nice um, high flat grind, okay? Any blade play? No, of course not. <laughs> I knew that. I've got a full four finger, of course I have, and a bit more, okay? Um, Let's see. Now, I guess they would have put the tang tank on the front originally, but of course we've got this on the solid brass um, coverings there. So yeah, with the, of course, if we turn it this way around, just quickly go through there. Nice little uh, snap. So yeah, this is Ashley Watson. So you can see the make out the A and then the W there. That's the Ashley Watson emblem. Okay. So flip her over on the reverse of the tank, you're gonna have, of course, there you go, <laughs> Rogers. Uh, I'm gonna put it this way around so you can see it. Rogers, Sheffield, England. Just, oh, it's magical to see that. You know, we still make good stuff, it's nice. It is nice, okay. Absolutely lovely, no half stop as such, but you don't need it. Um, you know, if you know what you're doing, you don't need it. Anyway. So from this, the blade, actual blade steel, is a high carbon stainless steel, which <laughs> is super useful. So it's gonna easy to maintain, it's gonna hold a decent edge, uh, very robust, it's got a satin finish as well. So, you know, I like this, uh, I just like it. Now she pulls, do you know what? She pulls a bit lighter than I thought. I'd say she pulls a five, and she breaks about a five and a half or a six. Like a bit tired, but you know, it is what it is, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, walk and talk, there's not much walk and talk, it's just a utilitarian service knife originally based on that. So they've just used this um, and just modified it effectively and put some brass coverings on it, okay? You've got solid steel, <laughs> look at those for rivets, absolutely, those solid stainless steel domed rivets there, there you go, on the pile side, as well as the mark side. Of course, you've got um, on the mark side, let's just shut this puppy up. Um, on the mark side, of course, you've got the emblem, okay, Ashley Watson. You've got a sort of the stainless steel spring, of course, okay, a good half thing, like I say. Uh, good, to, yeah, half decent termination there. The bail, oh, look at that bail, that's a bail and a half, isn't it? That's a, it's a shackle, <laughs> actually, it's more than a bail, it's a shackle. Um, I think, you know, because these knives originate from the seafaring days back in the day, um, the Royal Navy, of course, and then came the, you know, and I think the army based it on that knife. But anyway, we'll do some history on that because I know a bit about it, but it's been a while. But just gorgeous, absolutely lovely. I love this knife. I really, <laughs> does, it, does it show? So anyway, um, yeah, I, um, what can I say about this? I think it's, you know, very good to excellent fit and finish overall. Okay, well, the blade wasn't centered, but it's a utility knife. I'm gonna be using this. It's gonna get scratched, it's gonna get worn, pocket worn. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a pocket drop. I could put it in a land yard, of course. Don't need to, but you can do that. You got that option. Oh, <laughs> I really, really like this. I'm so happy about this. Anyway, um, what is it like? So is it sharp? Let's check this uh, video out here. That's the test, isn't it? Is it out a box? Is it sharp? Okay, while we do the measuring. So 
we've got blade length is about seven centimeters or two and three quarters of an inch blade thickness decent stock as you're going to realize you know it's going to be a decent stock we're talking 2.3 mil or 0 0.09 of an inch okay overall length i'd say it's about six yeah overall length is gonna be um once hold on one two three four five six six and an eighth okay of an inch um 15 and a half centimeters roughly okay closed beautiful size perfect from in my eyes for an edc um nine you know nine centimeters three and a half inches roughly okay uh the weight on this well it's going to be <laughs> it's solid isn't it so you know it's going to be uh quite it's going to be hefty but it's not heavy it's solid but not heavy if that makes sense so uh 86 grams it's not that much guys it really isn't um okay or three ounces you know perfectly acceptable for an edc it really is it's, it really is nice. Okay. So for me, uh, what do I think of this? Well, it's a modern and minimalist design based on that iconic British um, army knife, that army issue, of course. Okay. It's well made. It's handsome. Um, it just is, isn't it? It's quite elegant, really. UK legal, of course. It's under three inches, non-locking. It's it's just a great value for money for me, in my opinion. Um it's not it is not that much money really for what you're getting guys uh make a very good gifting tool for a birthday anniversary or of course a special occasion um even a, re a retirement you know because you can pinch and pull you know it's very easy to deploy it okay i'd highly recommend this absolutely 100 percent, i would um for me it's not just a five it's a five plus it's got the x factor it's got a lot of history with this knife okay made in the modern rendition of it i love this knife i really do i'm so happy i've got one okay guys for price and availability see the links below show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button thanks for watching and i'll see you next time stay sharp